they're good looking. If you want to strengthen the chest and the tricep muscles as well as your shoulders in less than 25 minutes, this is the workout for you, baby cakes. Now, we're only using dumbbells, so I want you to grab what you consider are a pair of heavy dumbbells and a moderate set. For reference, I'm using a pair of 15s and 10s. And if you're a beginner, I also would love for you to have access to either a chair or maybe even the side of your couch or a coffee table. Essentially, what I want to do is build the ground up for our push-up drills. So if you're a beginner or if push-ups irritate your shoulders or your wrists, let's build the ground up to make them more doable for you. Okay? Awesome. Lace up your runners. Let's go get warmed up. Hello there. Welcome. I'm PJ from fitnesswithpj.com and heck, I have been personal training women for over 20 years, actually almost 30 years now, helping them get fitter and feel better. So if that interests you, click that subscribe button. I would love to keep working with you. All right, let's warm up. I'll chat about the workout as we go. Starting with the shoulder warm up, feet apart, abs are engaged, big circles going behind the body, make them slow and controlled. So we have um, some sets here in which we work the chest, triceps, and then we'll move into a push-up drill. Now with the push-up drill, they ladder down in reps as we go through the workout. And as I mentioned, we'll elevate the ground if push-ups do bother your shoulders or if you're a beginner. Last four, three, two, one, now open and close the arms. Each time the arms close in front, different arms on top. I hope you're feeling good. You're ready for this. I am ready for you. I am prepared. We have got the timer on. We've got the, yeah, we've got the place set up just for you. <laughs> Last four, three, two, one, now bring the arms in front. I want you to rotate the thumbs and the palms up and down, moving through the shoulders. Woo, getting a little warm in the shoulders now. 10 more seconds here. Now I'm not quite done with the shoulders. Bend the elbows at 90 degrees, upper arms parallel to your floor, bring the hands together and open. Try to lead with the elbows. You're touching the elbows if you're able to at the center of the body there. And then as mentioned, arms are parallel with your floor. That's the hard part. Whew, as well as trying to bring the elbows together. So warming up the body, getting it ready for the work to be done. Your first set too might be a bit of a warm up set for you as well. So please feel free to grab ladder dumbbells for the first round of the movements. And then I want you to step it up a bit because this is a strength workout. Last five, oh baby, four, three, two, one, shake it out. All right, we'll get into some squats. I know it's a chest and tricep exercise, but I love squats. So feet apart, toes turned out, drop it down. It's also a good way to get the heart rate up too. I do, I just love squats. Knees track with the toes, nicely done. Four more here. Here's four, three, two, one. All right. So we're starting with a chest press drill and we're cycling through all these movements with 15 seconds break. And then as I said, the push-ups will get a little longer break and we'll ladder down in the reps as we go through the workout. Don't worry, it'll make sense. So I want you to grab what you consider our heavier pair of dumbbells, or as I mentioned, if you still feel like you need a little bit more of a warm up, grab a lighter set. We're taking it down on the back. Now I'll do a quick demo and then away we go. I like to have the hips up on the chest press just so we get a few more muscles involved in the lower body. Your chest press setup is elbows in line with the shoulders and then slide them forward slightly. Palms are facing the knees. You press straight up, dumbbells a touch above the chest and you lower all the way down. Okay, let's go. Back of the neck is long. Slow and controlled with your rep count. 
So you'll get anywhere between 10 to 15 reps. I don't want you to think about going fast. I want a heavier weight, lower rep count. So higher load, lower rep. And that's what's gonna build the strength in the chest, front shoulders, and the triceps. Push through the heels, get the glutes up a little higher if you can. Time. Into a high plank position. It's not the push-up drill yet, so don't go near your chair yet if, if you think you need your chair. From this position, feet apart, you can be on the knees to modify, push the ground away around the shoulder blades, and now pull the shoulder blades together. So it's protract, retract. So what we're doing here is working some muscle groups underneath the armpit a bit called the serratus anterior. And it helps us with uh, shoulder stabilization, it helps us with our chest press drills, our push-up drills, and we're also loading up into the shoulders and triceps. So try not to move the hips. This is kind of can be a tough one for some people to get. So if you've got a mirror handy, take a peek, make sure the hips aren't moving, and the arms are staying straight. So it's pulling the shoulder blades apart, letting the shoulder blades come together. When they come apart, we call that protraction, together retraction. Couple more. Time. Woo. All right, now the timer is gonna go, and we're gonna ignore it. Instead, we'll perform eight push-ups. So this is where you'll wanna elevate the ground if you want to. I'm gonna be on my knees. So let's get the elbows in tight to the body. Lower the chest all the way to the ground. We got eight. One, Woo. two, <laughs> three, four, five, six, seven, Eight. Oh my goodness me. And now we get quite a long break for those triceps to recover and we're taking it back to the top with the chest press. So this is actually one of my own personal workouts that I do that I love to do. So another 15 seconds are on the clock if you're still doing the push-ups and then we have a 15 second break and we move into round two with the chest press. So let's get set up for chest press. Elbows are in front of the shoulders, palms facing the knees. Press through the heels, lift the hips up nice and tall, back of the neck is long, and go. Press the dumbbells above the chest, not the head, lower back down. Straighten the arms every rep, good job. Breathe out as you're pressing up. How are those hips? Mine started to drop, so I thought I'd give you a cue. <laughs> Yours might be dropping, dude. So push through those heels, engage the booty. Time, woo, okay. Not gonna lie, this is probably gonna hurt the triceps this next couple of rounds. <laughs> All right, we're in a high plank. You can be on the knees to modify any time. The whole purpose of this is keeping the hips quiet, rounding the shoulders, pulling the shoulder blades apart, and now pulling the shoulder blades together. Breathe. So here, it's a bit of a prehab move. So what that means is we're trying to strengthen areas around the shoulder joint that can be weak in people and cause injury. So, and then your physio would most likely give you this exercise. So let's cut to the chase and just strengthen them right away. One more. Time. Woo. Okay, it's eight push-ups again, all right? No, we're not laddering down yet. Next round, we ladder down. So I'm gonna be on my knees again. You can elevate your hands to modify further. Take it down for eight, seven, six, five, 
four, three, oh my goodness me, two, one, whoo, whoo. Once again, we keep going until the timer beeps at us. Keep going, finish those push-ups, and then when you're done, I want you to grab the lighter pair of dumbbells I asked you to get and get back down onto the ground. We're doing a different variation of a press. 10 more seconds here, and then we've got a 15 second setup for our move. Time, all right. So even if you aren't done the push-ups, come on with me. This time the tush will stay on the mat, elbows are in tight, palms are facing each other and pressing straight up. So it's a narrow press, okay? Ready, set, go. Straighten the arms completely, back of the arm hits your ground every rep. So working pecs, front shoulder again, but now we're putting some more um, emphasis into the triceps. I know, you're welcome. <laughs> When you press up, don't allow that low back to lift, right? We've got some core activation. Woo. Forty-five seconds here. We'll flip over into a forearm plank. Time. All right, dumbbells off to the side. So our forearm plank can be on the knees to modify and we're gonna plank up, leading with one arm and then the second rep, the other arm. So it's a plank up, up, down, down. Ready, go. So again, on the knees to modify and then you can push your bum up even a little higher if you need to further modify from the knees. Your goal is to try to get that hand and step it right underneath the shoulder. That's what's gonna work the triceps more. So then with that said, if the triceps are really burnt out, have the hand a little ahead of the shoulder. Oh boy, when we're done this, six push-ups. Ten seconds, come on you. Getting some good core too in this workout. You feel those abs of yours? Yeah. Time. Okay, so it's six push-ups, and then we've got the same break in between. So with the six push-up, that means we get a little longer break. Ah, see, see, I can give too. I can give goodness as well as bad. <laughs> Ready, here we go, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh my goodness me. All right, we got 30 second break, and then that 15 seconds to get set up for the second set of movements. Woo, I know. We are literally just gonna be in the fetal position by the end of this workout. But don't worry, your triceps, your chest muscles, your shoulder muscles are gonna thank you for this. All right, so if you're not done the push-ups, I want you to finish them up because we need to get set up for that narrow press. So have a seat, grab onto the dumbbells, come back for me. So remember, this is narrow, okay? So palms are facing each other, elbows are in tight to your rib cage, knees bent, feet flat on your ground, and go. Press straight up and lower down. Breathe. We should look at the silver lining of this workout. There's no cardio. <laughs> you won't be able to move your arms for the rest of the day, but hey, there's no cardio. <laughs> you didn't want to use your arms today, did you? No, I didn't think so. Again, slow and controlled. Time, Woo. all right, 
plank ups. These guys are brutal. So knees, and then you can even push your bum up a little higher. See that? So you're almost on all fours. That will further modify that for you. Ready, set, go. If you're with me on the toes, feet apart. That's gonna help you keep the hips quiet. And remember, we're alternating which hand steps up first, okay? Ten more seconds. Woo. One more <coughs> time. Woo. Shake out those arms. All right. It's those six push ups again. So elevate your hands if you need to. A couch or a bench works really well for that. Here we go. Ready? Set. Six of them. Bum down. Go. Head up. One. If you can, chest to the ground. Two. Three, four, five, oh boy, six, oh. All right, I'm gonna grab a sip of water. You keep going, finish those six. We're moving on to our final round of chest moves after this. You have another 20 seconds <clears throat> before we get set up and do that final set. 10 seconds. We need the lighter dumbbells. We're back down on the mat for a chest fly. <clears throat> we'll keep the bum on the ground for this as well. So let's get yourselves down. All right, now with the flies, we start above the chest now, palms facing, and turn your elbows out a bit. Wrists can be curled in slightly. From this position, you will simply just want to move through the shoulder. So the back of the hands aren't gonna to touch your mat. So now we've eliminated the use of the elbow joint, so that means that the triceps aren't really participating on this, which probably feels really lovely right now for you. It's like you're giving somebody a big hug. I know it's probably not me right now, but imagine somebody that you like at the moment and you're giving them a big hug. <laughs> Hopefully you like me again after the workout. Now we'll keep these dumbbells for our secondary exercise and isolate just the triceps. Remember, keep the abs slightly engaged. That low back's not lifting off your mat. Back of the neck is long time. All right, so you can hold on to a dumbbell each hand or grab on to an end with each hand and bring the post down to the forehead. Okay, your choice. If you're joining me with the dumbbell in each hand, it's harder. Wrists, elbow and shoulders in line. Now drop the elbow so they touch the ground right beside the ears and extend up. So now we want to eliminate the shoulder movement and just have the elbow joint move. There you go, basic physiology. This is what works the triceps. It keeps the shoulders out of the equation. Woo! <laughs> now, guess what? That's right. Push-ups after this. Four of them though, so that means we get an even longer break, which is kind of nice, because I think our arms are gonna need it. <sighs> Time, oh my goodness. Yes, I do. I do this sort of torture to myself on a regular basis. All right, four push-ups. Hands elevated. If you need to modify, ready, set. Look up for me, not down. Go. Four. Straighten the arms. Three. Two. <laughs> One. <sighs> yeah, I'm going to say it. That sucked. <laughs> But we got one more round. I'm just gonna hug myself. You have 30 seconds left to finish those four push-ups, and then we're on our final round. So those letter dumbbells, chest flies are coming up. You got time if you wanna grab a quick sip of water. Okay, let's start getting set up. Woo, baby. Grab the dumbbells before you roll yourself down. It's just easier on the low back. Heels close to the bum. All right, now let's get the arms set up. 
So they're above the chest, palms are facing each other. So remember, now we bend the elbows out and we're just gonna duct tape the elbows in that position and simply move through the shoulder joint only. Ready, here we go. Let the arms fall out, elbows lined up with the shoulders and then close, hands above the chest. Final set. Oh, that is music to my triceps ears, if they had ears. You know what I mean. Pull that belly button in. Don't let that low back lift off your mat too much. Time. All right, I'm gonna grab my one heavy and use that for my skull crushers because I cannot do a 10 in each hand. <laughs> I don't think I'd get my arms back up. Here we go, post come to the forehead. If you're holding on to one dumbbell with me, drop it down. If you've got both dumbbells, remember you're having that, those dumbbell po or ends, pardon me, touch the ground beside your ears. Shoulders are what? They're still on this one. That's right, because we want to work the triceps, so it's only the elbow joint we want to move. Oh. Yeah, that was a smart play on my end. Just do one 15 pound dumbbell for this. That's enough. Hang in there, okay? Hang in there. We are almost done. Come on, time. All right, four push-ups and then we are done. Yes, and think of how good and how proud you'll be of yourself. I'm proud of you. Okay, so let's get set up. Hands elevated if you need to. Three, two, one, go. Four push-ups, four, three, two, one, oh, okay, Whew. as soon as you're done those push-ups, you can either be seated cross-legged or kneeling like I am, take the right arm behind the head and lean away and let's give some love to the triceps, wow, huh, yep, so this workout's not big on time, but it is, it does pack a big punch, if you're part of the 25 and 25 challenge, congratulations. Well done, we've done over a week now. We're on day eight today. Let's do the other side. And so you heard me chat about last time, um, not last time, one of the workouts in the previous seven in which I chatted about, it's not the length of your workout that matters, it's the intensity. As I hope I've been proving with these shorter but more intense workouts. Ooh. Oh, wow. Yeah. All right. So again, if, if seated kneeling, pardon me, isn't great for your knees, cross-legged, sit cross-legged, sit on a chair, whatever works for you, we're going to stretch the upper body and then you can continue on with your day. So it's intensity. So it's either, you know, how fast you're going with the cardio move, how deep you're going with the movement, how heavy of a weight, if it's a strength workout, how solid is your form? Yeah. It takes more energy to have solid form. Other side. Now when we have these shorter workouts, well, we're gonna do them more often, aren't we? Like I said at the beginning, I've been doing this training people for almost 30 years. And if I were to give everybody our workouts to do five days a week, man, people wouldn't be doing them. <laughs> they, I, we've got to program them in doable chunks and then at the intensity that's going to hit you. So that's going to change week to week, especially as you get stronger. All right, here we go. Into the triceps, big toes together, knees apart, elbows on the ground and sit your bum back and just let the hands fall onto the back of the neck. So next time you have a friend who's bragging that he or she just went for an hour run, just see if they can do this workout. <laughs> All 
and release. Standing for me, hopefully you have access to a wall or a door frame. Elbow at shoulder height, step forward, palm pressing against your wall, look over the shoulder, stretching into the pecs. All right, other side. It's a really nice pec stretch. Keep holding this. If you're doing it in a doorway, you can do both arms at the same time, right? Have them on the outside of the doorway. I like people to step forward with one foot because I don't want your hips to go forward. And then from there, lean forward. It's a lovely stretch and chest opener. And really shake it out. All right, thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. And if you haven't already, click that subscribe button. Let's keep working together. I will see you next workout. Mwah.